The first edition in French and the first published edition of Thomas Jefferson's Notes on Virginia. I'm Adam Douglas from Peter Harrington. I'd like to show you this very handsome copy of the only full-length book that Jefferson published in his lifetime. Now, Jefferson was asked to make observations, as it were, on Virginia, to make a compilation of facts about Virginia by uh, François Barbe de Marbois, who was the secretary to the French legation in Philadelphia. And in 1785, he published a short version of that um, privately in Paris in May 1785 in an edition just of 200 copies. Uh, and then it was published next in Paris again the following year in 1786. Now Jefferson rather muddied the water of this and said that uh, Barrois had uh, published this without his permission and had used a very cheap translator to do it. But in fact, he was being disingenuous. He'd uh, persuaded uh, Barrois to delay publication while he worked on the book and produced it in a much more coherent book form. So this is a, a much improved text and uh, is the basis of the text, which was uh, translated into English and published the following year by Stockdale in London. So uh, it does have primacy in that regard. He also realized that he would need a map for his book, and he had a map uh, cut in Paris, which was um, attached to a few copies of his privately printed edition. And here we see the map at the end. It's a very large map printed on thick paper and uh, it takes a bit of doing to unfold it. But there we see the famous map of Virginia in its large form covering virtually my whole table here. And this is a, a, a very good impression of it. The first strike of the map had some obvious mistakes which um, Jefferson had corrected. So this is the second state of the map, and it's printed on thick paper. Uh, the London edition, it was actually engraved in London, and it's shown here, is uh, engraved by S.J. Neal in London. And uh, the London edition, Stockdale's London edition, has a, a restrike of this map um, on thinner paper. So the map in the French edition is preferable in that regard. It's an earlier state, um, the previous strike, and it's on better paper. Uh, the book itself is in a handsome contemporary French binding um, with this uh, calf. This has got a little bit of uh, stripping there just towards the board edge and a tiny bit of wear at the head of the spine there. There's just a little, little wear. But really, it's a very handsome copy, um, French books at this time. To be frank, looked better than either English or American books in appearance. So it's a very pleasing book in that regard. Nicely printed. And uh, as I say, jo Jefferson's only full-length work. And it made his reputation as a philosopher. Um, so very important piece of literature important publication for Jefferson's reputation and the reputation of the nascent United States. For a full description of this, please see the Peter Arrington website.